given that alpha, beta, gamma and delta be the coefficients of x power 7, x power 5, x power 3 and x respectively. In the expansion of x plus root of x power 3 minus 1 whole power 5 plus x minus root of x minus 3 whole power 1 whole power 5 where x is greater than 1 and if u and v satisfy the equations alpha u plus beta v is equal to 18 and gamma u plus delta v is equal to 20 then we need to find the value of u plus v so let us consider y is equal to under root of x power 3 minus 1 for some time so that the expansion x plus y whole power 5 plus x minus y whole power 5 so we can add 5c naught x to the power of 5 y power 0 5c1 x to the power of 5 minus 1 4 y power 1 and so on 5c2 x to the power of 5c5 x to the power of 0 y to the power 5 and again added with 5c0 x to the power of 5 y power 0 minus 5c1 x to the power of 4 y to the power 1 plus and so on minus 5c5 x to the power 0 y to the power 5 now by adding these both we can get 2 times phi c naught x to the power of 5 plus phi c 2 x to the power of 3 y square next phi c 4 x to the power of 1 y power 4 So we can see that the power of y is even in both in all the three terms and here y power 0 so that we can add two times phi c naught value is 1 and phi c2 value is 5 factorial by 3 factorial into 2 factorial that is 5 into 4 into 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 2 into 1 so we can say phi 2 is a 10, phi c2 value is 10 and phi c4 value we can write 5 factorial by 4 factorial into 1 factorial that is 5 into 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 1 which is 5. So here phi c0 we can write 1 so we can write x to the power of 5 and phi c2 value is 10 times x power 3 into y square since y is equal to root of x power 3 minus 1 so we can write here x power 3 minus 1 plus 5c4 value is 5 times x into y power 4 we can write x power 3 minus 1 whole square so here we can write 2 times x to the power of 5 or we can take the inside 2 So 2x power 5 and here we can add 2 times 20 times of x to the power of 6 minus 20 times of x power 3 and here 10 times of x to the power of 4 so here this term we can add x power 3 minus 1 whole square x power 6 plus 1 minus 2 times of x power 3 into x so we can add 10 times x power 7 and again plus 5x sorry 10x and again here 2 5s are 10 10 2s are 20 20 x to the power of 4 so when comparing coefficient of x power 7 alpha is equal to alpha is equal to 10 and x power 5 coefficient is beta so x power 5 terms only one is a so beta is equal to 2 and x power 3 coefficient is gamma so gamma is equal to minus 20 and x power 1 coefficient that is 10 so we can say delta 
delta is equal to 10 and also given alpha u plus beta v is equal to 18 which implies that is 10 u plus 2 times of v is equal to 18 and next one gamma u plus delta v is equal to 20 which implies gamma is minus 20 times u and delta is 10 times so 10 times of v is equal to 20. So this equation is by solving and we can also write here phi u plus v is equal to 9 and here minus 2u plus v is equal to 2. So subtracting this both 5u minus of minus 2u that is 7u is equal to 7 so which implies u is equal to 1 and substituting here u is equal to 1 here so v is equal to 9 minus 5 that is 4 so v value is 4 therefore we need to find u plus v that is 1 plus 4 which is equal to 5 so 5 is the answer which is option d